let's see if this Brazilian goddess is worthy of the price. Stay tuned to find out. Fire was part of my collection. I love the design of Fire. I love the way she looks. I'm kind of a fan of this figure already looking from the outside. Already has better flame effects than the original, but that face, man, that face is only something I'm about to love. But before we get into looking at the toy, let's see if this box is better than your mom. And, and I hate me following boxes. They are plain Jane trash. It's not even a blurb of fire on the back. It's just a comic, uh, a cutout from the comic. Um, and that's it. Uh, I get it. You're only paying 20. This one was $25 because you know, they're raising their prices too. But normally I would say, hey, you know, you're paying 20 bucks. This is $25. Do better with the boxes. Don't, don't, I don't even have the words for this. Do better with the boxes. That's all I can say to you. Do better with the boxes. Anyway, let's crack this bad boy open and see. Oh, what's in the box? So in the box, we get fire. Um, not the colloquial expression of something that's really hot or cool, but just the character fire. We get a DC Multiverse card for fire. The same one that is on the back of the box. And we get a stand, which I'm using because fire's heels and her toes do not want to cooperate and she wants to tip, tip over. So this stand is helping me keep her within a standing position. So hooray for that. Would Mills have charged you for this? Absolutely, because this is straight trash. They gave me the flame effects on her arms, but for $25, I want more, especially from McFarlane. You're not gonna put the effort into the box. I expect the effort to be put into the toy and the accessories that come with the toy, where you'll see with, for example, the Superman figure that I reviewed, he gets a whole battle suit in the box for $25. And here we have a translucent ghost that uh, doesn't have any accessories except for the flame effects on arm. And they are cool, but come on. Let's check out the design of this character. So this is basically, and this is really cool that uh, a lot of characters, when they do it, do a flame, a lot of, toy companies when they do the flame figure they just make it a green body and just that's it mcfarlane made this figure translucent so you can see through it which is kind of cool and i'm not sure if you can see it but you can actually see the joints and the skeleton of the toy inside i know what they were going for they went for a more glowy green which is more um how she's depicted in the TV show, but a green figure would have been fine because that's how she's depicted in all of the other toys and all the other media that she's in because you can't give that glowing effect in anything else. But let's get a close up because this is my my one biggest gripe with fire. So this is my one biggest gripe with fire. And I'm going to zoom in slowly on her face. Dun, dun, dun that is a mug that i'm not she's supposed to be a brazilian model and i don't know what mcfarlane did but they ruined her face and she looks horrible 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 i don't understand literally supposed to be a brazilian model and i i don't i don't know but if you look at the rest of the toy it does have some really cool features that i do like so for example the hair looks super good i love the fact that the flame effects are flying up and it, they did a decent wash on it so it's not just green but it does have like a yellow wash so that looks like it's a leaf a breathing flame as you can see it's clear throughout the body so you have do clear you have a clear plastic as you can see through it and then you have the flames on the waist and the flames on the hand which have that same yellow wash on it that we see on the rest of the figure or on the hair at least and then you have a plain Jane body for the rest of the figure, which is very disappointing. So not the greatest toy, not the greatest design. In fact, let me 
pull out my old fire figure and yes she's not fully powered up but you'll see a much better face and that much eff better effort put into her face so this is going to sound weird right i prefer this scrunched up face to the mcfarlane face um for a couple of reasons one even though she's not powered up it still gives you the the feel of a brazilian woman uh, and her features um it's a very it has to, it's very weird that this is the, i prefer this face to the mcfarlane face i think it's more so the aesthetic behind it versus the actual look because clearly the more modern design is a better looking toy but this is a this is how i wanted my fire to look um yeah i'm just eh, i'm, I'm kind of eh about this let's see if this thing can squat is let's take off the fire effects on her arm first but let's see if she can get into a decent squatting position i am questioning it because mcfarland toys aren't really known for their uh well they already has uh one up because that's a really good uh t pose let's take off the flame effects off her hand um upper bicep puck double jointed elbow give you some range a really bad wrist on her and i guess that's because of the flame effect she does have a dirty diaper on her slide off the hand so uh only gripe so far from a positioning is uh the fact that her uh wrist is trash but you get elbows up that high a elbow that high and her thighs are longer than all her thighs could not be that long and like i said i'm not a fan of these diapers because as you can see from her butt there is a she looks like she's wearing underwear when she should be uh one solid piece because this is not clothes this is her flesh this is how the character is supposed to be designed those aren't pants she's on her whole body's on fire she becomes flame um so she can get into a squatting position. Her superhero landing pose is going to be trash because, excuse me, while I adjust her, her legs, her thighs are really, really long. Like it doesn't, her torso, her lower, her legs are the legs of a model and her upper torso, I don't know where they're from. Like they just, none of this makes sense to me how they put this together. So, uh, no superhero landing she doesn't have any she does she have a lower waist articulation no she only has the that she has the diaphragm that's on a ball but because she has no waist oh no she does have waist articulation what am i i'm a liar face look at me so that's that's depressing right she has the articulation to do a superhero landing she has a ball in her upper torso she has the waist swivel but because her legs are poorly designed, something I didn't realize, they're longer than the rest of her body. And your legs should be proportionate to the rest of your body, not like almost one and a half, maybe twice as long. She cannot get into a superhero landing because her legs are going to hinder her. Also, the way she has her heels on, so that's also stopping it. It does have toe articulation, but you're going to miss out on some good poses because of the way the character is set up. Yeah, let's get into price for this guy. Let's talk about the money. price is wrong, bitch. So, Fire goes for $25, and it was one of the Target exclusive collected bond toy thingy bobbers. Um, there are some of them that are worthwhile, Venom, Carnage, all those things, but this, not so much not a fan of this one um no, i'm pretty sure that this toy probably would have been cheaper if it wasn't a target exclusive and i normally would have ignored it but it's fire and i really wanted this to be a dope toy i'm not a fan of it i think the they did a good job with the translucent body but and i do like the flame effects for her hair on her hand but the toy itself is underwhelming so the box straight butt is garbage i 
I not has no shelf appeal, no nothing. The box is trash. Then the design. I'm so not a fan of the design of this toy. Um, I do like the idea of the translucent plastic, but in the translucent plastic, you end up seeing all the giblets of it. And this might be fine for something like a glob Herman, where you're going to, you can use the, some clever design to put the, the pivot points and the strong points on this as his uh, body parts, but the fire, it looks really bad. And I really don't like her face. And so, can this thing squat? No, this thing, the articulation of this thing is really bad. Uh, even though it does have a ball joint in the upper body, it's limited in how well it moves. And as for price, this thing is going for $24, which I'm far away raise their prices. And I'm holding that against them because this thing is definitely not worth the price. And my final verdict on this is a four out of eight. It looks ugly, it's fire, and I wish you looked better in the face. It's just an ugly toy. So that's it for you guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.